Hello, welcome to Howard. It's time for another basics tutorial. Today I thought we'd go ahead and do an invitation. Um, you could use these same techniques for doing birthday cards, Christmas cards, um, any kind of uh, thing like that. And that'll give you a, a quick uh, card or invitation that you can send out. So, we're going to start uh, here and render. And in render, we're going to go down to the water drops because we're going to do a uh, card for a birthday party. So I've moved my light placement over here to the middle. This puts the inside um, fairly clear with the shadows pointing out to the outside so they're not going to interfere with our um, lighting and stuff. You can adjust your water drops, your counts, reflections, refractions, etc. And say OK because I've already gone through this once so a lot of these things are going to be already previously set. All right. So, now this is too bright to try and put letters and things on, it's too busy. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the bottom um, right hand corner on our um, square here. And then, because I've got white down here, I'm going to hold down the right mouse button. Pick a good spot uh, here and pull that square out. That looks pretty good and I want to see a little bit of my bubbles in there and so I'm gonna undo just a little bit so I can you know see them a little bit without them interfering too much so now I have a very nice uh, you know, frame I've got a place where I can write my um, words and letters and things so coming up here to the shapes I'm gonna continue my little bubble theme and this time I'm going to use the upper left hand uh, corner and let's turn my opacity up here opacity 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 uh, whichever um, as you can see my steps were too close together so um, this is a neat look could leave it like that if I uh, wanted to or let's take that down and spread our steps out a little bit and that's gonna give me more bubbles so I can have my bubbles be pretty regular or get even more excited. There we go. Now we've got bubbles kind of all over the place. Um, if I want the bubbles to be different colors and whatnot, I could go into my brush settings and work that um, from there. So I've got my center, I've got my little bubbles to help kind of outline. I've got my big bubbles here on the outside. Now we're going to add another layer. So I'm going to put my text on this layer. The reason for that is if I make a mistake or have some issues or I want to do special effects later on, then um, I'm on a single layer and it's much easier to try and select than it is to try and select all those bubbles. So I'm going to come up here to uh, text and bring my uh, text box up and in. Your um, if you have a very large picture that takes up the full screen then you might when you click on the uh, text thing have it um, the picture is going to go to maximum size and so then you're like well, where am I supposed to put my lettering don't worry about it use the um, panning to scroll around get the spot where you generally want your lettering once you click down it will uh, open the box up at that spot so you don't have to worry um, about that. I want to go ahead and center things because it makes it nice and open my font. Um, as I said, I did this previously, so I've picked bubble um, here. I'm going to make it a bit uh, bigger for my pool party. Um, your text box can only do one kind of text and one uh, one font, one size. Um, if you've got an edge that's really creeping there, go ahead and pull it out a little bit more because any edge that's not completely in the box will get cut off. So now I've got this lined up pretty nice. The default is to do it as plain text and so I'm going to pick a darker color here and apply my text. 
So now I've got pool party. If I decided I didn't like that was over there so far, I could either move the text box over or I could uh, select this as a brush, clear that, and restamp it back down again. So there's several uh, varieties in this case. I'm just going to hit undo, tell it to show my text box. My things are still there. So move over just a touch more and then apply the text. There we are. Now we're lined up nicely. Okay, I'm ready to do the uh, second part of the text where my instructions and things would be. So I'm going to go ahead and add another layer. Um, so I need to go back and switch that and then just clear. So now I've got white. I'm ready to do that again. So I'll show my text box. Move it uh, down below. And delete the text out of it. We're going to drop this down significantly uh, smaller here. And then we're ready to put in our information. Do a nice red. And so let's say Saturday. Huh. Let's undo that. show my text box again. I was hitting too many buttons. It happens. There we go. I think that my cord got wrapped around it. Saturday, December 24th. It's a good time for a pool party, I think. At biggest pool. Time. Oh, let's see. Midnight to 3 a.m. That's an awesome time for pool parties. And uh, let's uh, do a little note. Bring your own towel. And bring a snack. So I'm going to make this a little bit uh, smaller so I can see where the actual edges are. Now I have the uh, opportunity that I can make this a little bit bigger um, until I get a spot where I like the lettering and whatnot. Go ahead and drop that down just a touch and we're ready to apply the text. So, now I've got this, uh, our instructions are here on the top layer. The middle layer, as you can see, has the pool party. And we're going to go back down to the pool party so we can do a few little fancy things to it. You have several varieties um, of ways in order to select the pool party part. I could just use the magic wand, click on that, hold the shift key down, and fill in the insides. I'm going to make our uh, other parts invisible so it's a little bit easier to see. So there we have the pool party selected and then we would just invert it in order to do that. Um, another way would be in the selections to do a select by and I would do um, select by color key and since you know all of that's white it makes it really easy and that will do the same thing. I could also select it by the dark so now I'm going to take my selection and invert it. As you notice, you still got a little bit of marching ant here. Go ahead and hold the shift key uh, down, change to your rectangle, use your right mouse key, and that'll clean up any extra edges that you have still uh, going on. Um, I want this to be a little bit closer in because it always leaves it just a tiny bit out. So we're going to shrink the selection. Usually one point is enough. So now we've got a nice, clean um, line going around. So I'm going to pick um, uh, light blue again. And uh, this time, we're going to do a little bit of um, decoration. So in my selection here, I'm uh, going to do an emboss. And 12 is a good one. That makes that pop up 
very nicely. Then I want to uh, add a little bit of a neon glow to this. So I'm going to invert my selection. Your glow always goes to the uh, inside of whatever's selected. So if I want it to be on the outside of my lettering, I invert it. And then I come down here, the effects, glow. And give it a pretty good glow. So now I've got this. As you'll notice, you've got a line that pops up here. Yeah, it's just one of the quirks. It's very easy to fix, especially if you're on a, s a single layer instead of over the bubbles or things like that. Again, select the right hand, and I'm going to use my right mouse button so I get the secondary color. Go down it, and that's all nice and clean. Okay, I'm going to invert my selection again. And if you have some extra show up, you can always get rid of that. That time it went away. And, uh, and this time I'm going to actually have my glow um, go on the inside. And not too much, just a little bit. And that kind of helps to strengthen that glow. It still leaves the, the other parts dark that were dark previously. Um, and then lastly, um, if I really want it to stand out, I can go in and do the uh, drop shadow. Always do your drop shadow last. So there we go. I've got my glow kind of sticking up there in the air. And the shadows down around. I've got my embossing. And once I turn this off, you see it's got a, a neat look to it. Now I've turned my other two parts on. I've got my pool party. Exciting neon here. Bubbles. Bubbles behind. We've got all of our instructions. And voila. There we have a... Um, invitation. You could, as I said, do birthday cards, Christmas cards, uh, other things just as easily. You could hand paint something, but this only just took a few minutes and, you know, boom. Uh, as our final step here, we collapse everything and there it is. It's ready to go. Um, you can, you know, then put it in your favorite printing program and um, I like to use IR Fan View because then I can um, stamp it next to itself, you know, six times use up one sheet of paper and things. All right, well, uh, I hope you had fun, and uh, see you next time. Bye.